cars win races, not drivers. That's what they believe at Ferrari. And for the last 60 years here in Maranello, they've built the technology that's dominated motor racing. Formula One without Ferrari, it's unthinkable. Think again, says the son of the man who started it all. There is other option. This is not, uh, we are not in jail. Uh, Formula One is not a jail. We can step out when we like. But are you serious about pulling out of Formula mm -hmm. One if, this, if the cap goes ahead? Yes, for sure. Formula One's governing body, the FIA, is worried about the future of the sport. Critics say Ferrari's dominance has made Formula One predictable. Meanwhile, the economic downturn has forced manufacturers like Honda to give up. The concern is that other teams will follow. Formula One is an expensive business. Last season, Force India spent an estimated £80 million on a car that failed to win any points. Williams spent an estimated £100 million, but still finished eighth. Ferrari won the Constructors' Championship, but is thought to have spent an estimated £275 million in the process. Little wonder then that Ferrari and the other big teams hate the idea of a £40 million cap on research and development. No compromise. We, we don't want to make any step back. Really, no compromise. We want no budget cap, same rules for everybody, clear rules, and that's it. Yeah. History suggests Ferrari might get its way. In 1986, Ferrari fell out with the authorities and threatened to leave Formula One to compete in the Indianapolis 500. They even went as far as building the car, but it was never used because in the end, the authorities backed down. Ferrari says it will spend what it wants. The FIA says a budget cap will be imposed. Irresistible force, immovable object, but it isn't over yet.